In this video, we're gonna learn how to turn an audio file into a video with full creative control inside Descript. Let's get into it. All right, so let's say you've got a recording, you're reading a script, you've got an article you wanna turn into a video, any type of audio source that you've got and you wanna create something visual around it, we're gonna go over that in Descript. And this is a comment I've gotten a few times on our YouTube video, our 15 minute intro on how to use Descript. So thank you for the comments. And also, if you don't know anything about Descript, go check out that video first and then come back here. I'm gonna dive into some more details specifically of how to work with audio files only and add visual elements to it using stock footage, text, importing videos, all sorts of stuff that we can do inside a script that gives us full creative control over how we want these visuals to look. All right, so first up, let's get our audio source. You could record this on a microphone. This could be something that you read. This could be a, a audio version of a podcast. That, that might make a little less sense, but if you have that, you wanna do something visual with it, make social media clips, this same technique would apply. In this case, I don't have an audio recording that I did, or I'm also just gonna give another example of what you could do. Let's say you have an article, you wanna turn it into a video. So we've got an article on our website uh, recently on VP land about uh, some new black magic updates. So let's say I wanna turn this article into AI narrated voice, and then I'm gonna take that voice and turn it into a video inside the script. So a little bit of a bonus step here, just in case you don't have audio and you want to create it. So I'm gonna to go to 11 labs and in their studio section, they have a really good preset where you can just import a URL and it will automatically take the text and uh, start a project for you. The thing always happens that you really And I'm just gonna use their default voice and we'll say create. So it's gonna pull the text from the article and uh, I'll use that as the starting point to generate the audio that I'm gonna import into Descript. And I'm just gonna do a little cleanup to remove the headings that we don't need. Turn into a narration. Okay, so I'm just going to convert the entire project, which will generate the text into audio. Should be pretty quick since it is a short video. Okay, I'm just going to download that audio. And now let's head over to Descript. So I'm going to make a brand new project from scratch. This, I know, sometimes hooks up some people. What do you want to pick? Do you want to pick a video project or an audio project? You're not stuck with whatever you do pick, so you can switch it. I want to make a video, so I'm going to say video project. But just in case you said audio project, I'm just going to select audio project so you can see how you can work around this. All right, so we're in our new project in the Descript. Uh, I'm just going to import the new audio file. It'll automatically start translating it or transcribing it. I have my settings set to default to transcribe, and I'll add a speaker name, and I'll call it narrator. And for if you don't have an empty uh, composition open, so compositions are sort of the working area where we can edit and create our, our final video projects or audio projects. If that wasn't open for you by default, you can just come over on the side, click projects, click the plus sign, and upload the file from your computer. So it transcribed our video. Introduces it. It transcribed our audio. It is not a video yet. And if you notice, I'm playing this back. Black Magic Ursa CINE 12 KLF body. Eh, there's nothing, there's no video. There's no visuals or anything. So what you want to do is come over here to composition, click the dots and say set composition to video. And now there is an empty black video because there was no visuals, but now we have the options to add video elements. And basically what we're gonna wanna do is similar to what I covered in the intro video, you're gonna wanna add scenes and you just add a forward slash and that basically kind of marks in this scene section, what kind of visual element we wanna have. It just makes it easier when you add new visual elements that it knows what section it wants to cut, you wanna cover with that, those visual elements. So I'll just kind of add one for each line roughly right now. And you could always come back in and split up, add more scenes and split scenes later. Okay, so let's say now we've got our uh, audio, we've got a blank slate to add visuals. What kind of visuals can we add? A variety of things. We could add images, we can add videos from their stock library that's already included with your subscription. Uh, we could add text, we can add some text elements that they include like countdown uh, meters and a couple other visual text elements. We can also import videos from YouTube or I believe Zoom. Zoom wouldn't make as much sense here, but we can import stuff from YouTube that we can also use inside our video. Obviously give credit if you're using other people's videos. Fair use laws, I would say apply here, but that is a completely separate topic, but just don't steal stuff. So let's say first part, we wanna have a title. I'll click title here. I'm making sure my pointer is over in the first scene right here. I'm gonna click title and it's gonna add text here. And you can see there's a blue underline in my scene section. So this title text is only going to show up in the part of the video that is the blue underline, which is basically until we hit the next scene. So title here, and I'll just say it'll be our, uh, and it's very large. So I'm just gonna select all and say, make it 80. And it's a very ugly title. Customizable Ursa Sin 12, K-Bot. 
But you have the gist. You can add text here, and then we could also add a background element. Let's say we wanted to. So if I come over here on stock, this is access to all of Descript's stock library elements, videos, uh, GIFs, images, GIF stickers, backgrounds, all sorts of stuff. So let's say I just want some moody background image. So it's going to download it, and then it automatically adds it as the background. Blackmagic unveils customizable Ursa Sin 12. And you can see we've got this kind of cool, moody background element. If for some reason I put it on top, uh, we cover layers in the intro video, but you could always just click on this. And sometimes if stuff doesn't show up the way you think it should, it's usually the layer, something's on top of the layer where it should be. So you could just say send to back because this is the background element and it should be in the background. So that's one aspect. Let's say our next scene, we want to show the camera. So I'm going to go back to our file area. So that's in the project section. And I'm going to import from YouTube. I'm going to head over here in our article. We've got a YouTube video. This is our YouTube video. So I don't feel we could use all the clips we want from this. Copy the URL, come back over here, paste it, add it. It's going to import the video, which could take a few minutes. So let's hop over to another scene. While this is importing, we're in our composition. It is transcribed into the text. So I'm just demoing how you can add visuals to this, but all of the other benefits of editing inside Descript still apply. So if you wanted to delete a line, you can highlight the text, delete it, copy and paste, shift things around. It behaves like a text document. That's one of the awesome things about Descript. We cover that in our intro video, but everything that you would be used to doing in Descript, you could do here as well. Okay, and so our video now imported. So let's say, in this other section, I want to add some clips of the camera. So let's say we want to insert it. Let me just get to the starting point that I want to use where it's going to go where the scene starts. So I want this close up and then let me say insert into script. That is not what I wanted. Oh, I know what I just did wrong. Okay, so that's actually a good example of, you might do that and it will be confusing. So insert into scripts, we'll insert that text into the script. It is, if we have our text here, our script, it's gonna insert it right here and push everything to either side and it's gonna try to transcribe the video. So it's basically if you want to cut away to the video and then cut back to your narration. We don't want that. We want to just use this as B-roll as like additional footage. So we want it as a new layer. So click on add new layer. And now you can see it did the same thing with the text. It just showed what is blue and highlighted because it is just showing the clip up to the moment that we have our next scene. And we have this nice visual while we are still. For $6,995. Blackmagic video, Design about introduces Black Magic's a stripped down Ursa version of its high-end Ursa. Okay, and if that happens to you, which it probably will, you'll be like, well, that's crazy. Why is both audio playing? Because it is the narration playing plus the audio from the video playing. So if we click on the elements of our video, which I clicked on the video, click on the triple dots, whoops. And I get the settings for that video. I can come up here, easy way. And I can just say mute track. So that turns off the audio for that video. Introduces a stripped down version of its high-end Ursa Scene 12K camera, offering a more affordable. And no more audio from the video playing. Uh, that is one way. Another way is you can come over here on the right and click on layers. And you can see we have our different layer elements. So the bottom layer is going to be the script. That's the audio from our text. And then the layer above that is our visual, our video. And the audio is turned off here. But a quicker way, if it wasn't, you could come back over here and say mute layer. And if you had multiple videos, if you wanted to stack or arrange multiple videos, you can control the audio that way with those videos. And also, let's say it reset where I clicked insert. So now it inserted it from the very beginning of the video. But let's say I don't want that moment. I want something in the middle of the video. If I say start at here and I slide my mouse, I can see this little range and it is showing me the section that it is going to use of the video as it plays in my scene. Blackmagic Design introduces a stripped down version of its high-end Ursa scene. Tool. And so now I got more, a better moments that make more sense of close-ups of the product instead of me talking in the video, which wouldn't make sense when we're trying to do this um, kind of voiceover narration. So that's probably the easiest way to add video. And you can do that for a variety of video types. You can also do that for stock. Same thing we we're showing with stock. They have a whole video library that is available. If I said movie set and I want to insert this scene 
it inserts it, but you can see the blue stops at a certain point and it doesn't actually reach the end of the scene. That's because this clip is not long enough to cover the entire scene. So we could always, it actually- Users to customize their set. Yeah, it goes to black. So we could always come here and then insert another scene. Oh, it seems like it inserted it into that moment. So you can always come where it ends and then just add a new scene. If you want to get a little bit more technical, you can come here at the bottom, go to the timeline. And if we're in the timeline, if I make this bigger, we can visually see all the layers. So the bottom layer is our script with our audio. And then as we move up, we can see the additional layers on top of it. And let me zoom out a bit. And so it has that other scene I just added, but I can click that scene and delete it. Oh, I deleted the whole thing. I don't want to delete that. I just want to delete. I just want to merge it with the scene before. So now we have no marker here, but if I come here, drag this in, it adds the new clip here. And then I could just drag this clip around to where I want it. And if I want it to not start right there, I can just drag the ends. And so this gives you a lot more control over where the clips start and stop inside your timeline. If you're used to or have done any video editing type stuff, this is a lot more familiar interface. If this is intimidating or you don't want to do this, you can still achieve a lot of the same things by working inside the script slash composition directly and using the layer settings here to come in, click on your settings and adjusting if you want your start or stop points to be different. So different ways to achieve the same things depending on what you're comfortable with working in if you're more comfortable in a timeline interface or if you're more comfortable working in a text document interface. And that's really the gist. I mean, so you would just kind of rinse and repeat, add scenes to like every new visual that you want. Um, these are very long scenes, I think. If I was like actually trying to do this and make this engaging and interesting, I would add a bunch more scenes more frequently to showcase different texts, different visual elements, different photos, and just kind of make it a bit more visually dynamic. Uh, as far as more things you could add, it has a record feature. If you wanted to record a video of something and import it directly, you could do that. Elements, you could add shapes, you could add other text, you could add dynamic text. This would be good for social media videos. We have a whole separate video covering all the settings of using dynamic text, which would basically be turning your captions into text on the screen and different animation settings to highlight whatever word is being spoken at the time. Compared to the full kit includes a dual. Yeah, this is a very basic setting, but we have a whole separate video covering how to uh, format and do that. Additional elements, you can turn, you can create uh, waveform animations of the words being spoken, progress bars, spinners, pies, annotations, which are basically little animated GIFs that you could insert uh, if you want to add any call outs, um, overlays, frames of camera frames, other types of visual elements. So there's a whole library here of visual elements that you could just bring right in and add more visuals to the audio that you're trying to turn into a video, something visual and entertaining. And then yeah, even going back to the caption thing, uh, this seems newish since we did our caption video, but if you want presets, they have a whole library now of presets of captions. Uh, this was not in available in our original caption video, so this is good to know. If you want to not waste time trying to figure out the style settings, you could just come in here and uh, pick an existing caption style. If you do want to do a video, I've been showing a 16 by nine video, something that might be on YouTube, but if you're trying to do a short video, vertical video, after you make your composition, you can just come up here and click the uh, frame settings and then you can just say portrait and it'll just reframe it as a portrait and it'll, it won't crop any of our videos right now. I would say if you were trying to do both and undo this, I would make my project and then I would duplicate it, and then I would change that to portrait or whatever, square, whatever format you want, and then reframe whatever it is that I need. There are a bunch of other tools that Descript did add to uh, we're using AI to automatically do this. We'll cover it in this video. I honestly have not experimented with it uh, as much, but you can come in here and in repurpose, so there's another tool and stuff to create clips, uh, create highlight reels um, that'll kind of automatically do what I just showed if you want to make a regular version of the video and then uh, split that out and turn it into a uh, TikTok or Instagram reels or YouTube shorts clip. And then once you're done uh, with whatever the uh, final video is, you can just come up here to publish and 
either publish it to the web, publish it directly to one of their integrations, or just come over here and click download and download a file of your video. So another element too, I'm not gonna get into here, but let me know if you wanna see a video about this. There are other AI tools where we could take a given audio script and create a AI avatar of someone speaking, which could potentially add more visual elements if you were trying to convert more blog posts or something and you didn't have enough visuals of B-roll to visually explain what you were trying to show. You could create visual or AI avatars that speak and match whatever is spoken, whether that is an AI generated uh, spoken text or someone on your team has a recording of just audio, but you want to create an avatar that has them lip sync matching. So that's another option too. If you want a video about that, let me know in the comments. But I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any other Descript questions, check out our whole uh, playlist on Descript tutorials. If we don't have anything there covering your question, let me know in the comments. Because like this video, this video came from a comment. So happy to help. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.